Cool. I hope you're still with me. We are on the end line almost and we have a look how to export that stuff. And as I said, we want to use this black parts later in a mix shader for the glass one and we need to export this isolation mask here as well and that's pretty easy to do. We can insert here a new channel by tap on the keyboard and type in channel and give it a name glass underscore iso for isolation mask and make it black with an alpha of one just to be sure we don't have any alpha values and that's fine and we can look where we have stored the glass material here we have it and we simply can hook up here the paint node and just to double check we can quickly look through it perfect so it will export this this channel as well so we have it as as textures later so let's switch here quickly to the shader and i think that's looking very nice so far i mean as i said i uh, speeded a bit the process here to not add all the details on every spot i recommend do that on your end so I spend a bit of time working it out with the techniques I've shown here and add a bit more life to it. But I think that's looking so far really cool. I mean, you can add some leakings here as well to <laughs> make, make him a bit sad or I don't know. You can, you can go whatever you want and go crazy and be creative. So to export our textures, we have here this button. It's called the Export Manager. And we, you can see we have all the channels which we have stored here in our node graph. And here we don't want to use the full name, so we can rename it quickly here in the object. And was it the info? Yes, here we can rename it. So you can see that in a minute why I'm doing that. So press OK. Now it's just called Mari Robot. So here we can see all the data or all the info. So it's a 4K texture, how the color space is transformed or how it's uh, exporting it, a bit of this 8-bit. And here is the little um, code for, for the naming. And we want to insert here a dollar entity and underscore. And entity means it will take the name of the object and puts it into the uh, naming of the texture. So we can control A, control C, apply that to everything here. So we don't end up with textures which are not named like the asset. That's actually super handy to have them named. So that looks fine so far. And then we can choose our export path, desktop, not the chappy, uh, Mari robot textures we can create here a new one call him Mari then choose and export all I mean that's it that's it super quick video and I will create now the Maya file and hook there all the textures up and we can do the last video I guess so see you then bye bye